Hi. Uh, since I feel that this video is going to be erased or deleted, I'm going to bring my attention more to this camera here. Uh, that way, if it, if this video is pulled off, I can replace it with this video here. <coughs> I have a feeling it will be pulled off because Oblamer said at the end, while well, blaming a uh, YouTube video uh, for Benghazi, a YouTube video that was totally based on Islamic sources, the Hadith. He said, uh, make a mistake. Uh, there must be no future for those that slander the Prophet of Islam. And, uh, and he jailed that YouTube video maker for a whole year. I think he might even still be jailed. Hurting free speech in the process and uh, making Muslims feel more uh, inclined to, uh, you know, set up Sharia, which is all against free speech, especially if it's questioning the Quran. And anyway, I thought that I would read my book, Ramat's Quran, which I have published on. Uh, Amazon's Kindle, and uh, the reason why I'm reading it is because I noticed that there were some errors as far as spelling went, and um, other problems, so this is more like a correcting sort of thing here, and I'll begin it now. Alright. Okay. Ramit's Quran by Ramit Ramsey. Dedicate to those who want to see a reformation within Islam. Ramit's Quran. Okay, contents. Contents are... Introduction. That's what should remain. A more edited version of Ramit's Quran. Ramit's Quran. Uh, Ramit's Quran in action. What they conceal... What they conceal much... Uh, what they conceal much, uh, pass over much. Yeah. Um Kerfa. In the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers. Al eating of seven Ajwa dates. That means the. When I say Al, it means the. Al Wahid. Al Islamo Liri. Al Soul Sleeper. Making no distinction between all his books. Al Stealth Muslim. Al Jizzy Attack. Al Seeking Knowledge for One Hour. Al Thalmud. Boko Harampal, a confusing of all of all 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 knowing with the uh, destiny. Al clinging leech like substance, the cliffhanger of Mah Muhammad Ibrahim, TV, talking ISIS with a Muslim, Al Royal Plural, Al Fatima, Al Hassan, son of Ali, Al Handing Down, Al Exalted Man. Roberto and the Guru of Hate, Ramit Ramsey, Al Scorpion, the Fijian Devil, a kick in the upraised patootie in prostration, reading into things, question mark, uh, the cliffhanger of Muhammad Ibrahim, part two, epilogue. Okay, introduction now. Okay, is this screwed up? Let's see how screwed up this is. I'll check it out here. Oh, it's still working. Okay. All right, I'll continue here. Introduction to my book, uh, Ramus Quran, which you can buy on Amazon. It's a Kindle book, so you can just uh, maybe download it. Okay. There is talk that uh, the only way terrorism can be stopped is if Islam goes through uh, uh, the same kind of reformation as Christianity supposedly went through trouble with this notion is that the only reason why Christianity went through any kind of reformation was that Christians were never promised sex with the eternal virgin, with the eternal virginal, uh, with the eternal virginal chaste breast children virgins, if they kill for a supreme being who claimed to be all-knowing and all-wise. They also um, weren't threatened with a painful doom if they didn't kill for such a being as Muslims are threatened with, according to Quran 938, uh, 911, 
Well, uh, 938 and 39 as a whole. Actually, I should throw in Quran 911. I should put nine, Quran 911 in there. I'll do that right now. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that. Heck, it has. I have to have nine eleven in there, like he, going into Quran nine eleven thirty eight and thirty nine as a whole. Why in the world did I not have Quran nine hundred eleven in there? That is vitally important. Can't believe I didn't have that in there. Okay, they also weren't threatened with a painful doom if they didn't kill for such a being as Muslims are threatened with, according to Quran nine hundred eleven thirty eight and thirty nine as a whole. Let's see how many minutes I have left here. Okay. The reason why Christians don't burn or behead people as they did in the time of Inquisition was because they were fi finally able to read and study the, the, the Bible and see for themselves what God truly wanted from his followers. Christians discovered that it was the opposite of what Allah wanted from his Muslims. As you get with Quran 911, 30 and 39. And nine through five. Okay, the Christians saw that God wanted them to be wise as serpents, yet harmless as doves. In other words, their Christian God wanted them to be peaceful. Not only peaceful, but to love their enemies and pray for those who despitefully use them. Despitefully not spelled right. Despitefully. Oh, I got it. Oh, I see. Despitefully. Get that together. Okay. Due to these scriptures, Christianity became the opposite of Islam. Where the Quran is fundamentally allowed, uh, where the Quran is fundamentally followed. Those who can read and study the Quran will learn rather quickly that Allah wants the Muslims to kill and be killed in His cause. Quran Surah chapter nine, one hundred eleven. There you go. Chapter chapter Surah chapter. Yet yeah, Quran Surah chapter nine, uh, nine one hundred eleven, and Allah uses and Allah will use the pro the threat of eternal fire or the promise of sex to help bring about such a threat on anyone who is not willing to stop five to times a day, every day for the rest of their waking existence, uh, to pull out a prayer rug and stick their patootie in there. I've got to. Why didn't I put that in there? I got to put that in there now. Pull out a prayer rug and stick their patootie in the air. Right. Okay. Yeah, they'll have to pull out a prayer rug and pray five times a day until they go to the e to their eternal reward. It is the threat of a painful doom in hellfire, or the promise of eternal sex in paradise that makes Muslims join up with Al Qaeda, ISIS, and Boko Haram, which I call Boko Haram. Pool. It is what makes true Islam the big threat to Christianity never was, and counter to what the Bible says about not bearing false witness. There are two scriptures in the Quran, Surah 9, 328, and 6106. They allow Muslims to lie and deny all that has just been said in this paragraph. So how, much, how much time do I have left here? Okay, I'll continue. Uh, one more. I think I can get one more paragraph in here. Okay. I thought it was impossible to reform Islam due to the reality that. In all my study of the Quran and the Hadith, there is absolutely nothing good in Islam. Nothing. Instead of uplifting humans and bringing peace between them, the Quran creates daily alienation between the pious Muslim and anyone that the pious Muslim feels or believes is not pious. For example, a pious Muslim may go so far as uh, beating, this in, beating in an instant innocent wife just by fearing that she might rebel. That's Quran 9. That would be Quran 4 verse 34. Or he may even kill an innocent youth just by fearing that the boy will that the boy would quote grow up to disappoint parents or show ungratefulness towards Allah. 
unquote, that's Quran, uh, see Quran 18, 74 through 81. Concerning the latter, Quran Surah 1881, uh, the, uh, concerning the latter, Quran Surah 1881, the pious Muslim is led to believe that Allah will replace the boy who was killed with that one, with, with, with one that is, quote, closer in affection. It's that passage that opens the door to, quote, honor killing. And you know something? I think I'll end it here and begin part two. So, if you want to check that out and see if I'm lying or twisting anything, read Quran 434 and, 18, and Quran 1874 to 81 to see if I was lying here, okay? Bye.